Hello everyone, thanks for watching. This is Hadrian. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. So we, in our last episode, had just made it inside this home in our new area. There's some insulated boots, an insulated vest. We're just going to start finding stuff. That's going to be great. I mentioned earlier in the series that I'm going to harvest these boots we just found. I mentioned earlier in the series that we will find a lot of stuff in this area, and now you're going to see what I meant by that. So it'll be it'll take on a bit of a different tone because it's all about kind of organizing all the stuff we can find and seeing what we can do with it. Looks like we're pretty thirsty. Plenty of water. What are we doing now? We're still encumbered because we're very tired. That's why. Uh, pretty hungry too. So we should probably rest in this house. But let's get the light back out and keep looking around. I know you're eager to see what all this looks like. Oh, look. There's like a basement door of some kind. Right, so. Let's see. Soda? Full service kitchen. Empty pots and pans. Anything in the oven? That would be kind of gross, but no. Tin of coffee. Tin of coffee. This is going to take a minute. You might be sitting there thinking, man, those, those search bars sure do take a while. This. It's actually faster than it used to be. So when you come into these houses and have to go through these cabinets one by one, um, it would actually take longer than this. Because the search bars would take probably about twice as long as they're taking now. Which is crazy, I know. But... They've, they have improved it. It's just that when I come into these... This, God, this house is really like creaky and creepy. I don't like it. Um, just when you come into these new environments, it takes a moment to explore everything. Anything in the freezer here? Negative. Anything in the fridge? Cooked rainbow trout. I'll eat that momentarily. And actually, we're going to use this fridge... It's not running, of course, but it is a storage system of a kind. First, hang on. We're going to eat this trout. Get some calories from it. Then we're going to use this fridge to store some things. Let's see. What's our heaviest equipment? We've got some pinnacle peaches. We've got a jerry can that's weighing us down. Got some extra antiseptic. Go ahead and put that away. I'll go ahead and put the dog food up. We're no longer encumbered, but we will be again soon, trust me. Let's just look at food. How about that? Alright, tins of coffee. So we've got, we managed to lighten our load a little bit there. Toilet. Fresh water. Straight out of the toilet. It's mine. Yes, this is a thing. This is really happening. You can do this in this game. It's fantastic. Hey, more antiseptic. Okay. Towels, curtains. Oh, cool. You can break all this stuff down into cloth now. Medicine shelf. So, a lot of stuff here. Well, we can hold on to those. Why not? So we're carrying plenty of supplies on our person. Let's 
go upstairs. Hopefully not find a body. There's a body. Great. So what's underneath the body? Nothing that we could take. Just some kind of red thing. Well, maybe this won't be our home base after all. Because I've, I've got a bit of a choice now. You know, there's there's going to be some other houses. Oh, some more insulated boots. That's nice. There's going to be some other houses. Some other places that I can set up shop. Heavy wool sweater. I think I already have something like that. So yeah, there's going to be some other places I can set up shop. So I don't I don't have to stay with the body anymore. And I'm really not inclined to. Basic wool scarf. Basic wool hat. Finally, 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 we have a hat. Alright, let's look at our clothing. Let's wear that, because that's going to help us just period. Uh, right now we're wearing wool socks. Probably protecting us more from the cold than, uh, than cotton socks would. So we're going to go ahead and harvest those. We definitely need to get some rest here. Let's harvest the uh, scarf we found as well. We already have a heavy wool sweater. Don't know why one of those has a green arrow. They're the exact same values because they're the same condition. Well, let's harvest the actually wait. I think I just ran out of fuel in my lantern. Oops. I've got enough fuel though. So it's refueled. I need to continue breaking down this equipment. I just want to make sure that those uh, boots were not better condition than they appeared to be. Trusting my eyes very much at the moment, apparently. Doesn't matter which of those I wear. Alright, let's harvest that as well. And now we have a bunch of extra cloth and a bunch of extra leather that we can use to repair the items that we do have. Like so. Oh, you know what? I think I might have left the sewing kits way back in Mystery Lake. That's unfortunate. We're going to repair it again. So we might not be able to do too much more repairing until we find another sewing kit, but I'm confident that we will, in fact, find a sewing kit. That won't be an issue. Let's repair these as well. We'll go ahead and use fishing tackle instead, just in case. Alright, so stuff is in much better shape now. We're going to repair our boots. About nine hours of darkness left. All right, I'm now very tired. I need to get some rest. I'm spending too much time prepping. I'll finish off this MRE because its quality is getting pretty low. Drink some soda, which will also help parch some thirst. Which is totally unrealistic, but that's okay. <laughs> Y'all know I love this game. I've been reading some complaints on the forums. Maybe it's getting to me. None of them are swaying me. I love this game, but the negativity, man. The negativity. Alright. Go ahead and put that away. Right, so let's rest for all nine of those hours. the beginning of daylight there. Ooh, we're very thirsty. All right. Let's drink. Fix that problem. All right. Now we're hungry. It doesn't look like there's anything over there. So we have effectively gone through 
this entire place. No running water, sadly. How much would it suck to not wake up every morning to a hot shower? That's just... That's just me. In this situation, I know there are plenty of people in the world who, who don't, but in this kind of survival situation, it would be just particularly... awful. What kind of food do I have on me? I have that dog food that I put in the fridge. What else? What else did I put in the fridge, though? Condensed milk? Ah, pinnacle peaches, that's right. Tell you what. Let's eat those before we go anywhere. Use the can opener. And we'll eat the other can too. Why not? Just give ourselves a nice big stack of calories. I am confident that we will find more food in this area. There's going to be a lot of exploring and finding of additional equipment. Alright. Which way was out? This way. Coastal Highway. So nice to finally be in a new area. I don't, I don't hear any furry friends. Let's try and look around for some all the same. Looks like there's a... Can't go in here. This is sealed off. Ooh. That didn't sound happy. I don't know what that sound was, but... Alright, let's take a peek in here and see what we can find. Storm Lantern with less fuel than the one I have now. Leave it. I will take that accelerant, however. New Fire Striker. Better condition, I think, than the one I have now. If I am not mistaken. Yes, much better. Buy old Fire Striker. Hello, new Fire Striker. I'll take it. Okay. Jennifer Hale offering her vocal assistance there. Jerry can with ooh a lot of kerosene. I'll take it. Oh, lovely. And a body. Okay, nothing on him, so I can get away from him. Anything under the beds? No. I have one bullet. I'm glad I remembered that. Right now it feels like 23 degrees, even though the air temperature is actually 8 degrees. I love this coat. Alright, let's take a peek out this direction so I can show you what our new turf looks like, so to speak. Let's see if the game will let me climb this steep little... So there's a house out there. I might even head there now. Just as a bit of an exploratory step. Might as well go to the places that are hardest to reach first. There's a couple of fishing huts, as you can see. One there, one there. Keep my eyes out for any... Uh, wolves, and I'm going to try and do this somewhat quickly. There's a wolf right there. We'll avoid him by going over to this fishing hut. Close to Yeah, he's far away. He didn't see us. Oh, he did not see us, thankfully. Feels like 24 degrees, but I'm still getting cold. It's not as bad as it was before I made this 
wolf skin coat. New rifle round. Yes, please. Anything in the cupboard? Cloth? Sure. Some more cloth. Cloth is good. Helps me repair. Another rifle round. That's excellent. I now have three bullets. Much better ability to fend off any savagery. Unless it's a bear. I still have not taken a pot shot at a bear in the long dark. I don't know how effective the rifle is. I don't know if a single round would take him down or if you need to fire twice. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to find out. Bears are usually kind of off the beaten path in the long dark, so you don't uh, you don't worry about seeing them too much in the main areas where you're kind of going back and forth, exploring, going from point A to point B, um, unless that path takes you through wilderness and off the beaten path. Okay, there's a wolf. I think it's the same one. I'm just kind of running. Do, doing a circle around him, I guess. Fixed radius. Cedar firewood. Summit soda. How are we doing inventory wise? Oh, I only have room for about one more pound of stuff. Not ideal. Alright. Oh, another plastic container here. Some scrap metal. Alright. Well, cedar firewood is, and the reclaimed firewood, that's not a huge loss. Not a huge loss. There's also some houses. Oh. Wolf. Wolf. Wolf! Three wolves. There's a lot of wolves out on the frozen lake here. But there's, as you can see, there's another house over there. So I might just kind of move from house to house, assuming I can find supplies in this one to keep me safe without returning back to land, which is back there. Right there is where we came from. So I believe I've encountered a wolf higher up here before. So I'm going to try to be careful. There are some bunnies, which implies that there could be a wolf. Oh, there's a wolf chasing something. Chasing a bunny. Jackrabbit Island. I think we just heard a rabbit die. I think that's what that squeaking sound was. Poor guy. Alright, let's take a quick peek around our new... Stop. Cabinet? Never know. Could end up being useful. Bandage is always, always good. There is a book down there, but yes, I'm ignoring it. Anything in this fridge? Uh, we're gonna leave that. Don't need that water. Peaches, Let's see? Food. Condensed milk. Not just any grape soda. in this house. Not much at all. Crackers! Crackers are always good. Mm, this will come in handy. Lantern fuel. Some 
peaches. Nothing in the microwave. But cool that you can open it like that. I like it. I like it, Hinterland. I like it. New sewing kit. Aha! Always good. Mittens! I don't think I have any kind of hand covering yet. So that might be a step in a good direction. Bandage. Already have some wool socks, but I can take those and break them down. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think I have any mittens of any kind. We'll check that in a moment. Another insulated vest. So lots of stuff. Again, this is, this is going to be the new normal for a bit. Basic gloves. I think mittens are better than basic gloves. Because they're mittens. They're warm. Probably useful. They're not just basic. More antibiotics. I feel like we're we are gonna have plenty of antibiotics now. Nothing hiding in the tub. There can be things hiding in the tub. Just a little pro tip for you guys. Oh, there's no second floor. This is it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode here and see if I can move to that next island in the next one. But we're also a little encumbered, so i got to figure out what to do with all this stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit.